definitely don't smack into nothing. What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So I went ahead and put some uh, FPV onto my Red Cat Clawback 1 fifth scale. We've got our little grasshopper down there, which is a 110 scale. And uh, yeah, this kind of give you guys an idea. That's a grasshopper too. Anyway, I did it a long time ago. Now, um, I chose this system because it's HD, it's 720p. It's nice, uh, seems to be pretty crystal clear image. So I'm liking it better than the analog stuff, but they both have their goods and bads to it. So let me go ahead and tell you first off, when you get this system, um, these the goggles and the air unit, you wanna do the updates, firmware updates. You're gonna need to go ahead and just get DJI Assist 2 FPV. Go ahead, it does come with a USB type C cable already in the box. So you can plug that into air unit and then also into your goggles and you can get those things updated. You'll have to set up a DJI account. now. Um, one thing just gonna let you guys know too if I'm not mistaken this thing's only at 25 milliwatts here in the US but there's workarounds to uh, you know bump that power up but for right now I'm just using how it's set up for now and I'm running this unit which does come with an XT60 and just have the cable all that it plugs in to the back over there and to the side so I'm running this thing off a 3s lipo battery this little venom pack that I've had for a while it's been great and then so, um, then yeah, I just did this off Thinkiverse as far as printing this one out and then also for my voltage regulator to be able to find the exact case for that. Um, it was a little bit more closed up and I just ripped up some of them so I could get a little bit more ventilation in there. And I just used this one just to kind of go ahead. There's a lot, you know, you can clean this thing up. You can do a lot of different things with it. I do want a voltage alarm on this because it is obviously you just have to plug it into the balance and I could check my voltage and everything like that because they're only a few bucks. You probably get them off Amazon or eBay or whatever. I know, I already looked. So I would like to have that so when this thing gets low, it just starts to beep and I'll know that you know I don't mess up my LiPo. But for right now, kind of winging it and I'm just checking the voltage. So um, yeah, so let me go ahead and show you one thing here too is uh, when it comes to pairing the, the devices up, you're gonna push in this little button onto your air unit. Push that in, it's gonna turn red. Obviously, you're gonna have power to it and things. And uh, once you do that, you're gonna go over to your goggles. There's gonna be that little red button that's right there, right in there, and uh, right there. You push that in, hold it until it starts to beep. It'll keep beeping. And then after it stops beeping, you'll be bound up with the two units and you're good to go and then you can change your channels if necessary over on the side here up or down it just has the seven channels from what I can see and we're all good okay so now getting into how the system works anyhow or how I have it powered up so only thing we need you got all these little wires but the only wires we need are the positive and negative so we got positive and negative right here into the voltage regulator then over on the other side of it is just um, my little XT60 which I plug into um, my 3S LiPo. Uh, now I have this thing adjusted to 12 volts. So obviously the 3S will put out more than 12 volts, but um, that's why I have regula regulated too. So all I did was just turn this thing counterclockwise to turn down the voltage on it to like around 12 volts is fine. Now on here, I had a solder. This is your N, so both of these are your N. So you have your positive here, negative here. So that's where I just soldered on the little leads, the red and black wires, and then I had put my XT60 on it, and then over on the other side, just those small little wires that you see going into this box. They're coming off of the air unit. Those two, just like if you kind of see it here, would just be me soldering the black wire here and the red wire over on the other side where you can see it there, where it says positive out. That was it. Um, I just kind of tend those ahead of time just so that way I can put my wire on there and uh, yeah, solder it up real quick, no problems there. I like it, man, this thing is awesome. I ran this thing for like a good half an hour and I ran it a little bit just a few minutes ago before I started doing this video. I was like, oh, this thing is so cool, I love it. It's just different perspective, you know, you know, it's not enhancing it. Well, I don't know, it could be enhancing. I just really like it. You kinda, you're just standing there and you just kinda get a different feel for it. It's just kinda cool. And this is a big truck, so it really can plow through quite a few things without getting stuck. And it's not going fast. This thing doesn't have any kind of stabilization, so it will get shaky, especially if you have some a car that's going a lot faster. So that might be a little bit of a problem since this thing is designed to be 
flying through the sky and not just riding on an RC truck or car or what have you. But I do like it. I mean, I always like the uh, DJ or the GoPro stuff, and I'm like, they have a very short range of only maybe like 20, 30 feet, um, so you can't really do nothing with that. But I, I like this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this thing in action as well. And if I didn't mention already, I'll have to get low voltage regulate uh, low voltage on these batteries so I can I know. But I will say on this one here, that's to the um, goggles themselves. It already shows you down in the bottom right corner what the voltage is. Anyhow, this comes with a nice little bag and everything too. So I like it. I'll go ahead and show you guys. I'm just going to put the camera up so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going to be seeing through these goggles anyhow because I haven't seen that but that's why I want to kind of do it instead of like kind of a pre-record because you can record right off this unit here that's why it's got that little micro SD slot that's there and then you have a micro SD slot on this one as well so you got that USB type C for doing your firmware this one doing a, you can record it does have a little record button on the top here as well so you got that and then also you can toggle stuff with the uh, this little D5 D-pad as well. So it's pretty cool. But anyway, let me show you that running video real quick so you guys can, can see what this thing looks like. All right, so I'm gonna show you looking through the goggles, literally looking through at least one goggle here, or lens. So, it's a little bit difficult. I'm trying to just record it and drive. Yeah, I mean like that quality is pretty good there. Now you can hear it at least it probably coming by me. But <laughs> it's fun. I well, don't smack into nothing. Like I'm drunk. Ah. So can I still turn it? Yeah, still making it. Yeah, pretty awesome, man. I definitely think it's pretty cool, especially because the video, you don't, you don't get all that static and everything like that. So, liking it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. But yeah, that's a quick running video of it. Anyhow, I'm gonna see if I can get some of my other friends to uh, you know, get their, their perspective on it as well. Like, oh, that thing's pretty cool. But anyway, for right now, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. I'll catch you real soon on the next video. You guys take care. Peace.